guys and welcome to another video on my vlog channel where I answer one of your questions from the previous video. Someone anonymous wanted to ask me a question about marriage, specifically she wanted to know if I think people should get married at all and if I think that there's a certain age that's too young to get married. Now I can speak on this a little bit because I got married young which was a bad choice so I may be a little bit biased but honestly Overall, I think marriage is a good thing. I think it's a great way to share your life with someone. I just feel like people are kind of programmed sometimes to do it too soon. I grew up with people, you know, and in marriage all around me, and, you know, my parents got divorced when I was really young, so I had kind of a cynical outlook and I was hesitant, but still, it was something that I just progressively thought you should do. I was with someone for a certain amount of time, and we got engaged, and then we got married. It just seemed like the normal thing that people do, and I was way too young to do it. And I do think that there's a certain age that you shouldn't get married. I think maybe no younger than 25 or 26. I don't think that if you're not that old, you shouldn't be getting married. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people, this is like a touchy subject because a lot of people are mad because they get married young and they don't want people to tell them that they made a mistake. I'm not trying to do that. But if you haven't gotten married yet, why are you rushing it? What's the point of rushing it? If you're meant to be with this person, you'll still be meant to be with them in two or three years whenever you're a little bit older. The reason why I think this is so important is because you're still discovering yourself whenever you're that age. I feel like I'm still discovering myself now, but if I compare myself now, I'm 26 now, if I compare myself now to whenever I got married like five years ago, I was so different then. My outlook on things were so different, my interests were different, my life path was totally wrong in so many different ways and I knew that I was right. I just knew that I had everything right and I was so wrong. And honestly, I'm... I wish, and I know that I would have handled it poorly if people discouraged me from getting married because I had my mind made up, but I wish that there had been someone in my life that were just like, you don't need to do this right now. If you are meant to be, you'll still be meant to be in a couple of years from now. There's no rush. Why are you rushing it? You're so young. You have your whole life ahead of you. Why rush into it now? I just wish that somebody would have said that to me and it could have prevented a lot of heartbreak in the future. But I went on and I made my own mind up and I followed through with it and it was a mistake. And I just would really, I mean divorce is so common and I hate to be another statistic but I am. And I just feel like it's because we're programmed to move through the steps because we feel like by a certain age we should be married with kids. And we feel like a failure maybe if we haven't achieved that or if we haven't gone to college or if we haven't gotten a, a graduate degree in something. We feel like there are certain achievements in our life that we just need to be a functioning member of society and it's all bullshit. It's all just what people think subjectively is good for you and what other people think is good for you and sometimes what you think is good for yourself are just totally wrong. So there's no harm in waiting and that's my biggest advice. Yeah, I think marriage is a good thing. Hopefully one day I will be married to the right person because I didn't do it right the first time and I keep telling myself I fucked it up the first time but I learned a lot about myself and I'm definitely not gonna fuck up a second time and I think a lot of the maturity that, that I gained through the process is just going to encourage me to make sure that I know for sure. And the only way you can know for sure is if you give it enough time. Don't rush into things. Make sure you're with the right person. Live with them. Have fights with them. Make sure that you fight well. I mean, everybody fights, but so make sure that you fight well. Make sure you go to bed at night, you know, positive. Make sure you have things in common because I'm telling you right now, Feeling like you're in love with someone is not enough to sustain a relationship. You have to have things in common with them. You have to have, like, what are you going to do on, you know, a regular Wednesday night whenever there's nothing going on? What are you going to do together? You know, think about those things. Not everything is just roses all the time. It's a lot of shit that you have to deal with. And it's not fun. And I know a lot of people know that. And a lot of people who are young and get married are going to say, I know that. I already know. Of course. I'm not stupid. I don't think marriage is a fairy tale. But you don't, you don't really know. You don't really know how bad it can be sometimes. And... Maybe that's just because I was with the wrong person, or maybe it's because I just didn't know what I was doing, or maybe it's a combination of the two things. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know myself well enough to give myself to someone else. I feel like, like I said, I'm a totally different person now than I was when I got married, and I made a lot of mistakes, and I'm not making them again, and I wish somebody had told me to wait. So I know I probably pissed off a lot of girls with this video who are young and want to get married and feel like you have your mind made up and you're in love and everything is great, but just wait. It's not going to hurt you. If you love him and you're with him now, or if it's a guy and you love her and you're with her now and you think you're meant to be, then you're meant to be. Waiting to get married isn't going to change that, so you might as well make sure it's right. That's all I can say on the topic. I know it's a lot of things that I just had word diarrhea all over my vlog channel, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I'm coming from a good place and a bad place at the same time, but at least it's a place of experience. Just wait. 
that's all I have to say. So make sure to like this video, leave me a comment and let me know what you think, and ask me questions so I know what to answer in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!